the scariest and most terrifying bridges in the world. If the adrenaline rush has been missing from your life over the last few months, then perhaps this collection of fragile vehicle crossings and death-defined structures is for you. Have you ever wondered how some of the bridges were built and, most importantly, the guts you need to even take 30-second drives across them? Well, if you haven't, how about we take you across five of the most horrifying bridges you'll ever come across? 5. Ishima Ohashi Bridge, Japan Ishima Ohashi Bridge, also known as the Roller Coaster Bridge, is one of the most peculiar bridges in the world. Located in Yatsuka Cho Ishima, it is Japan's largest rigid frame bridge and the world's third largest rigid frame bridge. Since its construction in 2004, Ishima Ohashi Bridge has become a modest tourist attraction in its own right. The bridge spans 1.7 kilometers over Lake Nakaumi, between Sakai Minato in Totori Prefecture and Ishima in Shimane Prefecture. Seen from the Shimane side, the bridge looks impossibly steep. However, in reality, it has a gradient of 6.1% on the Shimane side and 5.1% on the Totori side. Cars gradually ascend, making it less scary for drivers than the bridge appears when photos are taken from a straight-on angle. In pictures, Ishima Ohashi definitely earns its roller coaster bridge nickname. Construction on the Ishima Ohashi Bridge to connect two cities on opposite sides of Nakaumi Lake started in 1997. Architects ensured ships could still pass under it, which explains why it's so tall. So, from what you can see, do you think you'd have the courage to drive across the bridge? Let us know in the comments section below. 4. Sidhu River Bridge, China China has repeatedly bested itself and others for the title of the world's tallest bridge, but the highest one yet and the current reigning champ is the Sidhu River Bridge, which hangs over 1,600 nauseating feet above a canyon floor, connecting what amounts to two mountaintops. Opened in 2009, the Sidhu River Bridge, which crosses the titular river as one might expect, beat out the previous record-holding span, the Hagigio Gorge Pipeline Bridge in Papua New Guinea which is suspended just over 1,200 feet above ground. The Sidhu Bridge was part of China's ever-expanding highway system, connecting two disparate parts of the country that were previously separated by difficult mountainous terrain and multiple rivers. The bridge spans just over 5,000 feet across the river valley, and was so far across that the builders had to use a rocket to string the first pilot across the gap. The hefty length is supported by two massive H-shaped towers, one at either end of the road. The suspension lines dip in the middle and rise back up again, looking more than a little flimsy for such a massive span. That is not to say that the bridge isn't safe, as the huge amounts of steel and concrete that make up the bridge should be more than adequate to hold any number of vehicles that might want to make the trip across. The bridge's design includes H-shaped towers, a truss-stiffened main span, and unsuspended side spans. The Warren-type trusses were constructed in 71 sections, with the largest section weighing 91.6 metric tons. The trusses are 6.5 meters tall and 26 meters wide. The first part of the suspension cable installed, a rope known as the pilot cable, was the first ever to be placed using a rocket. Conditions at the bridge's location would not allow the use of boats or helicopters, which have previously been used to string the first cable. The rockets carried the pilot cables across on October 6, 2006 and resulted in time and cost savings. The main suspension cables are made of 127 parallel wire strands, bundled into hexagonal shape. Talk about what architectural minds can do. 3. Longjiang Suspension Bridge, China The Longjiang Suspension Bridge in China is a marvel of modern engineering an awe-inspiring testament to human ingenuity, and a potent symbol of the daring spirit that propels us to conquer the impossible. Yet for all its grandeur, the bridge harbors an aspect that can stir a primal fear within the human soul, a sensation of terror for those who dare traverse its vast expanse. Perched precariously over the dragon-like twist of the Longjiang River, this suspension bridge in Yunnan province is one of the world's highest. It is a behemoth that stretches across a gaping chasm, its cables and towers rising to the heavens while its deck seems to float over an abyss. The experience of crossing it is nothing short of surreal, with winds that whisper the daunting depths below and vistas that blur the lines between earth and sky. The bridge's dimensions alone are enough to instill a deep sense of dread, with a main span of 1,196 meters and a towering height that surpasses the Eiffel Tower. It hangs above a valley floor that is a staggering 280 meters below. 
The sheer drop is enough to make even the stoutest of hearts flutter. The thin air at such high altitude only amplifies the experience, adding a touch of lightheadedness to the already nerve-wracking journey. For those who fear heights, the Longjiang Suspension Bridge is a daunting challenge. The transparent sections of pavement, designed to offer panoramic views of the surrounding landscape, serve as stark reminders of the dizzying heights. A look down through the crystal-clear glass can trigger a vertigo-inducing effect, a visceral feeling of vulnerability, as if one is suspended by a thread over an enormous void. The bridge sways ever so slightly, a characteristic inherent to suspension bridges, but enough to unsettle the stomachs of uneasy travelers. The hum of the wind through the cables becomes a haunting symphony, echoing the isolation one feels suspended between the mountains. Fog often shrouds the bridge, giving rise to an ethereal scene where the ends disappear into the mist, creating an illusion of an infinite drop on either side. The drive across can feel interminable, a journey across an expanse that seems to separate two worlds. The boundary between the structure and the natural world becomes blurred, with a man-made marvel becoming a part of the landscape, yet standing in stark contrast to it. There's a juxtaposition of beauty and terror as the breathtaking views wrestle with the innate human fear of falling. The bridge, while safe, plays on the subconscious, tapping into the atavistic fears that linger in our collective psyche. The terror induced by the Longjiang suspension bridge cannot be swallowed by everyone. One, just the chosen few. It's a place where one comes face to face with their own mortality, a palpable confrontation with the forces of nature. The experience is humbling yet adventurous at the same time. As night falls, the bridge transforms again. The darkness envelops the structure, and the lights that line its path create a hauntingly beautiful guide across the chasm. But the blackness beyond is impenetrable a void that seems to extend into infinity. It is in these moments, amidst the silence and the stars, that the bridge most powerfully communicates its terrifying beauty. Overall, the Longjiang Suspension Bridge is a masterpiece that elicits both admiration and horror. It is a physical and psychological journey, an encounter with the sublime and the terrifying. If you like, you can say that the bridge is a boundary between the conceivable and the unimaginable. And the big question is, do you have what it takes to drive or walk across it? 2. Milla Viaduct Bridge, France The Milla Viaduct in France is a marvel of modern engineering, soaring above the Tarn River Valley in southern France. It is famed not only for its staggering height, but also for its elegant design, which harmonizes with the surrounding landscape. But just as majestic as it is, so are its dangers and thrills. Designed by the French structural engineer Michael Verlegou and the British architect Norman Foster, the bridge was conceived to handle regional wind speeds, which can reach up to 130 kilometers per hour. The structure is constantly monitored with sensors to track its movement, stress, and vibrations to ensure its stability. The pylons are made of high-performance concrete, and the steel roadway supports are designed to withstand the elements. Regarding vehicular safety, the Milla Viaduct features advanced design elements to ensure the safety of its users. The bridge's deck is equipped with windbreaks to protect vehicles from the strong gusts that are common in the area. Additionally, the roadway is designed to maintain excellent drainage, reducing the risk of hydroplaning during heavy rain. The toll station at one end of the bridge regulates the flow of traffic onto the viaduct, preventing congestion and the associated risks. Environmental safety is another aspect where the Milla Viaduct excels despite the lurking dangers. Its construction involved extensive environmental impact studies to ensure minimal disruption to the valley's ecosystem. The bridge's design, with its slender piers and streamlined roadway, minimizes its visual and physical footprint. Although the creation of any large structure inevitably has environmental consequences, the planning and execution of the Milla Viaduct project aim to mitigate these as much as possible. Maintenance is crucial for any large infrastructure, especially one that faces environmental challenges like the Milla Viaduct. To maintain its safety record, the bridge requires regular inspections and maintenance. French authorities have implemented a rigorous maintenance schedule that includes checks of all security equipment, the roadway, pylons, and cables. The continuity of these stringent maintenance protocols is essential to prevent any deterioration that could pose a risk to the bridge's structural integrity or user safety. But here's the thing, it is not entirely safe after all. Despite these factors contributing to its safety, the Milla Viaduct is not entirely free from potential dangers. Any structure of this size faces inherent risks, particularly from natural disasters, such as earthquakes or extreme weather events. However, the bridge has been designed with these risks in mind, incorporating flexibility and durability into its construction to withstand such events. From its aerodynamic design to its robust maintenance schedule, everything about the bridge is intended to minimize danger. The risks it does face are mitigated through state-of-the-art engineering and constant vigilance. As such, while the Milla Viaduct towers impressively over the French countryside, 
and challenges the forces of nature. It stands as a symbol of modern engineering's ability to achieve not just grandeur, but also safety and sustainability. It is a bridge that, rather than being a source of danger, serves as a testament to human ingenuity and a reminder of the diligent work that goes into ensuring public safety in our most ambitious structures. One, Seven Miles Bridge, United States. Suspended between the cerulean embrace of the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic Ocean, the Seven Mile Bridge in Florida is an engineering marvel that inspires awe and, for some, a profound sense of dread. As one of the longest bridges in existence, it stretches across an expanse of water that seems to merge the sky and sea into one endless blue abyss. Imagine you were there at the onset of the bridge. The world behind you dwindles, and ahead lies a narrow ribbon of concrete and steel that bisects the horizon. As you begin your journey, the land is quickly left behind, and civilization gives way to the untamed majesty of open water. The bridge itself, while a testament to human ingenuity, feels audaciously fragile in the vastness of nature it dares to traverse. The terror of the Seven Mile Bridge can be subtle at first. It starts with the height. The roadway is elevated, leaving you suspended over the deep, churning waters below. There's an unsettling transience under your tires, a whisper of impermanence that makes the heart flutter. Then there's the length. Seven miles doesn't seem like much until you're out there, surrounded by nothing but water as far as the eye can see. The mainland becomes a memory, and the end of the bridge, a distant hope. On a stormy day, the bridge becomes a scene from a high-stakes thriller. Dark clouds roll overhead, the ocean churns violently, and winds howl like ancient spirits disturbed by the the audacity of this human pathway. Lightning arcs across the sky, thunder rumbles through the structure, and rain pelts down, reducing visibility to a mere few feet. The bridge, once solid beneath your wheels, now feels like a precarious lifeline over a raging maelstrom. Even on a calm day, there's an eerie quietness that can unnerve the most seasoned traveler. The sun beats down, the water glimmers, and the gentle sound of waves against the pylons can lull you into a false sense of security. Yet, the knowledge that you are over a depth of water that is unfathomable, traversing a path that shouldn't exist in the heart of this vast oceanic wilderness is enough to quicken your pulse. The barriers along the bridge seem minuscule, almost inconsequential, especially when semis and vacationers' cars zoom by, causing the bridge to vibrate underneath. You think that is all? Now hear this. There's a dizzying vertigo that grips some drivers, a primal fear of veering too close to the edge, of the barriers giving way and plunging into the abyss below. It's the fear of isolation, of being a tiny, fragile human in the face of the immense power of nature. For cyclists and pedestrians who can traverse the bridge only during special events, the experience is even more visceral. There's no metal shell to protect from the elements, just the open air and the narrow pedestrian lane, a small buffer between safety and the perilous drop to the water. The railing, which reaches up to an adult's waist, feels lower when you're passing by on two wheels or on foot, the ocean's expanse yawning beneath you. At night, the bridge transforms again. The darkness envelops everything, and the few lights that mark the path do little to illuminate the water below. The stars reflect off the surface of the sea, blurring the line between up and down, making the journey feel like a flight through a star-filled chasm. The Seven Mile Bridge is not merely a roadway. It is a journey through human vulnerability and the power of nature. It is a place where one's courage is tested, where the grandeur of engineering meets the primordial fear of the unknown, and where the beauty and terror of the open ocean can be felt in full force. There you have it. Which one of these majestic and danger-inflicting bridges would you love to visit? Let us know in the comments section below. Also, give us a like, share the video, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for timely updates of our latest uploads. And that's it from us today. Until next time, thank you for watching.